Hey everybody, this is Truth. Welcome to my channel, Truth Speaks. I hope you like my little thugget look today. I just had to. I wasn't having a bad hair day. Because as you can tell, I can barely do my makeup. So, I'm working on that. So, um, I'm not obviously too worried about it. But I just thought my hat was cute. I just want to show you what it says. If you could see it. Yes, 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 yes. That is my Oakland Ace. Yes, yes, yes. You see the A's, yes. Shout out. I love my hometown of Oakland, California. I am now residing in Las Vegas. So you just learned a little something about myself. I am 48 years old. And I have a teenage biracial and bilingual gorgeous young man for a child. So, I'm a proud mom. Shout out to all the moms out there. I think I want to touch a little bit on the subject of respect. And not using our children as pawns. You know, I oftentimes see situations where the child is the only one that gets hurt because it's usually the mom. I'm going to keep it real, ladies. It's usually us women that use our children uh, to our benefit. Like, okay, if you, don't, if, you don't, oh, if you don't give me my child support, you can't see your child. Or don't take my baby around the next bitch. Okay. But that's only because you're still in love with him. Stop it, ladies. Don't do that. That's not nice. That's not nice. The only one that suffers is that child that doesn't know his father okay or her father okay let the men in the world be a man and things will get better I'm just saying I would know because I'm older I'm just talking to everybody in general but you know what I'm talking about don't act like you don't know okay you start shit with him and then you put him in jail and then you're all visiting him and then you're like oh free my boo free my boo okay don't do that don't do that. Let that man be a father to that child. And for you men out there, when you have time with your child, you shouldn't want to take him or her around another female anyway. That's your time with your child. If you couldn't play mom and dad with your baby mama, so to speak, then why would you want to go do that with the next chick who's not the mother? So I can see both flip sides of the story, okay? Remember, whatever it is, that you're going through when it comes to co-parenting remember one thing and one thing only the only thing that's important is that child or children your feelings and his feelings do not matter when it comes to co-parenting do you understand co-parenting it's in the word co-parenting that means both of you are parents to that child um so i'm hoping that you know you guys just understand that when you guys don't do that i mean when you guys tend to argue bicker or use that child as a pawn that child's going to grow up to resent you really will really will and then that child feels like he has to he or she has to choose one parent over the other you can't do that you know if if, if your kid's little and your baby daddy's a big ass loser and you got a christmas present you get christmas presents for your baby uh at least right love mom and dad okay so that baby knows that his father or her father loves them. You see the importance of it? As long as he can spend quality time with that child, don't take that right away from him, okay? Do not do that. That's not nice, okay? So I hope for all of you out there, hope you can work it out, get back together, and raise that child or children together. But if you can't, Stop with the games. Thank you.